Hi, this is Ian Cole, indoor air quality specialist based in Chicago. Still trying to find an answer to the question, if you get mailed a foam mattress direct to your home, should you open it up in the bedroom or should you open it up outside and let it air out first? I've already tested two mattresses, one from a company called Casper, the other one Tuft & Needle, and today I have a mattress from a company called Nest Bedding. This is called their Love Bed. Uh, it's still in the packaging, haven't opened it up yet. Uh, because I want to test the chemical off-gassing, something called the Total Volatile Organic Compounds, or TVOCs. So let's look at my device out here and get a reading. Uh, here it shows 120, you know, somewhere in the low hundreds. And now I'm going to take a pair of scissors, poke a hole in here, and see what kind of numbers we get. So we're at 600 up to 7,000, 14,000, 21,000, 29,000, up to 30,000. So I think the same rules apply as we learned from the other two mattresses that the total volatile organic compound levels or TVOC levels can be really high on these mattresses, presumably from the foam itself. Uh, I would not open these mattresses up in your bedroom. I would open them up outside and let them air out. All three of these mattresses that I've now tested have come back high for VOCs, yet all three are certified by an organization called CertiPure. So that leads me to wonder, how is CertiPure doing their testing? I guess I'm going to have to dig a little bit deeper and maybe do another video when I can figure these things out.